Hello and welcome to Viking Stadium for tonight's matchup on this September 18th, 2003. Your Hazlitt Vikings take on the visiting Lakewood Vikings. Hello, I'm Greg Kerner. Sitting alongside of me is Mike, Michael Gallagher. Tonight's game between the Hazlitt Vikings and the Lakewood Vikings uh, will be an interesting one from all sorts because these two teams have never played each other before. I look for uh, tonight's game to be a hard-fought battle both ways. The Vikings coming in with a 2-1 record. The other Vikings from Lakewood coming in with a 1-2 record. I expect tonight's game to be a very well hard-fought battle from the trenches. Uh, next up, we have a couple uh, short message here from uh, TV25. And welcome back to Vikings Stadium. Uh, I'm Greg Kerner. Sitting alongside me is Michael Gallagher. Mike, what do you think tonight's keys to the game will be? Uh, basically, I think the Vikings are just going to have to come out, play a tough game. They've never played these guys before. They don't really know to, what to expect. So um, they're going to have to do their best out there. Work to hard, hope for the best. Sounds good. All right. Well, the kick for the Vikings will be number 21, the junior, Mark Messina. We'll get things started here. Messina back to kick. Here's the kick. It's going to be a long drive, hard drive over the Lakewood man's hand. Very nice. Into kick. the end zone. It's going to be called for a touchback. Lakewood will take over on the 20 yard line. Anyways, Mike, uh, back to the keys of the game. Uh, what do you think for the Vikings? What, what's, what's it going to take to win this game tonight? Uh, well, you know, um, good defense, of course. Uh, the secondary is very important. Um, obviously, we've never seen these guys before. Don't know a whole lot about. Uh, you know, the offense or that sort of thing. Um, well, from what there. I've been able to gather here uh, from some of the players and uh, the scouting report is uh, Lakewood likes, likes to run uh, two men in the backfield in a, in a type of uh, pro form set, and then they go like twins to the left or twins to the right, usually on the wide side of the field. And here they come to the line, uh, number two quarterbacking them, Jason Copeland. He's a 185 junior. Here's going to be the pitch out to number, looks like number three. It's going to be tackled by Calvin Hissong for a short gain of about three yards. So like running the ball, there's Jason Vander Boone. He's 5'9", uh, 165 pounds, and he's, he'll be a senior this year for the uh, Lakewood Vikings. So like, uh, it's going to bring up second and seven yards from the Lakewood Viking 23-yard line. Nice tackle there by Calvin Hissong. Way to start the game out. 
Vanderboom will go under center with Twins to the right. It's, it's gonna be a handoff up the middle. Looks like it's a number, we're gonna have to check that. Looks like it's gonna be number 20, Tyler okay, Belgian. Tyler Six foot, 180, three, he's Walter. a junior as well. It's gonna be a first down for the Lakewood Vikings first here. Down for Lakewood on the it's not a bad way to start off the game. Though. Not bad at all, not bad at all. It's like a Viking defense First will come out here. We've got Calvin Hisson, James Shabilcock in the uh, backfield here, uh, or uh, excuse me, the secondary, along with Brian McIntosh, number 27. Vanderboom under center. He's going to roll out to his right. He's going to run the action. He runs into his own man. He bounces off a couple of guys, and he's going to be tackled. Nice tackle by Ben Conroy. Ben Conroy comes Fortunately, he, uh, he rolled out a couple guys there. Uh, yeah. Should have been a loss on the play there. That's okay. Vikings are going to. Lakewood's gonna pick up an actual, they're gonna pick up two yards, or excuse me, five yards in the play. Make that six, it's gonna bring up second and four for Lakewood. Lakewood breaks the huddle. Vanderboom will go under center. Pro form, Twins right. Vanderboom takes the snap, he's gonna hand it off right up the gut again, this time to number 20. Tyler Belgian. We're, we're going to get a replay here of the uh, uh, number 20, uh, Tyler Beglin, brought down by number 3 CCD, right? What's that? 3 CCD. Yeah. We're going to have a nice. official's timeout here for a uh, measurement. See, so, uh, it's going to if the play, if uh, Lakewood is able to uh, achieve this first down, well, that'll be a uh, two first downs in the series for him here. If not, it'll bring up a uh, short third down conversion for them. It's going to be third down oh, and sure, about a half, half yard. yard. It's going to be third and one. See the Vikings can come up with a big stop here on defense, penetrate the gaps, sacking for a loss and force them to punt on fourth down. Lakewood will come to the line here. Twins to the left. Two men in the backfield. Vanderboom under center. Vanderboom will take the snap. He's gonna take it himself. It's like he's gonna have the first down. Got it by about a yard there. Bring, that'll be a first down for the Lakewood Vikings. With 9.54 remaining in the first half. Lakewood zero, has it zero. Isaiah Mims coming out of the game here for the Vikings. The Vikings can go with a little bit more speed in the uh, down lineman here. Vanderboom under center. Vanderboom takes the snap. He's going to be a, a uh, he's going to keep it, and he's going to be stopped well behind the line. Looks like the quarterback keeper there hasn't had it all figured out, and that's going to be a, a loss okay, about two down by for, the, for Lakewood. Nice sack there. I believe T.J. Lindemann had that tackle. T.J. Lindemann. He's a junior this year, I believe. T.J. a real good player. He's, a, he's also a uh, hard-nosed wrestler for the as a wrestling team. Vanderboom under center. He will uh, take an option left. He looks to pitch. He's got nowhere to go. And the uh, gain. Uh, about to get it maybe back up to the line of scrimmage there. The Vikings had that one sniffed out from the get-go. Yes. It'll bring up third down and 11 from their own 45 yard line. Looks like uh, Lake, Lakewood likes to run the ball. Uh, haven't, pa haven't put the ball in the, in the, in the air yet. Uh, the wind is very strong today, actually. Oh, yes. It's probably a good 25 miles an hour coming out of the west tonight. Uh, temperature game time is about 61 degrees. Vanderboom goes under center. We'll have split out receivers, one on the right and one on the left. Vanderboom to pass. It's going to be oh, incomplete. Broken up there. Nice. Broken nice up play. by number 27, Brian McIntosh. This is going to bring on the Lakewood punting unit. Good stop there for the Vikings. Yeah, yeah, it looks, down to, looks tonight as if the wind's going to be a factor. Right here. Effects of Hurricane Isabella, I believe. Hurricane Isabella out of the It's uh, actually, East I believe, in Pennsylvania, kind of right now. Yes. It's screwing up the weather all over the place. Yep. This is an unseasonably cold night here uh, for September 18th. It's going to affect the passing in the kicking game a lot. Both teams are going to have to be uh, extra focused because of that. Back to punt number 32, Mark Milner. It's going to be a low line drive. Montgomery is going to uh, let it roll on down to the Hazard Viking line. Yards for offense. And, uh, 
Ball's going to be down by number 21, Spencer Dutz, for the Lakewood Vikings. Now, the uh, Hazlitt Viking offense is known for their running game, Mike, yes, as, as we've seen so far this year. Uh, Definitely a running team. I do believe Matt Peterson last week was two for four passing. Two with for four passing. You have the four he, passes. To, uh, two, uh, both passes are uh, completed for touchdowns, I believe. So the Vikings can be dangerous in the air, especially yes, they they're uh, very unexpected when they do go into the air here. Uh, yeah. And they have start off with uh, not the greatest field position here, taking over on their own nine-yard line. The Vikings will have two men in the backfield, and we're going to have Montgomery, it looks like, split off to the left. It's going to be a passing play here for Peterson. He's going to let that ball go. It's oh. going to be blocked by number 84 for the Lakewood Vikings, Travis Willard. 6'5", 210, big kid here there. It's going to bring up second down and 10 for the Vikings. It's like checking into the game here is going to be Jordan Montgomery. Checking out will be Jordan Salisbury, number 33. Hazel breaks the huddle. Peterson will come up to the line. Under center, all three running backs remain in the backfield. Peterson to take the snap. Here's the handoff. Looks like it's going to be to Widener. Ryan Widener, number, number 28. He's going to go for about none. It's going to bring up third down and 10. Check that about third and nine, actually. Gained about a yard on the play. Salisbury returns back into the game with a play. Montgomery comes back out. Tackle on the last play there was made by number 20, Tyler Belgan. Peterson under center, third and nine here for the Vikings from their own 10 yard line. Three running backs in the backfield. Peterson to snap, looks like going to have a flag on the play here. Looks like, uh, not sure who's going to be on. Uh, saw a Lakewood move, maybe they forced Hazlitt though. We'll see what happens here to uh, jump the gun. We're going to get uh, offsides, a neutral zone infraction, infraction, infraction by the Lakewood Vikings. It's going to bring up third down and about four for the Vikings. That's what you like to do there on third down. Yeah, make it a easier third down conversion here. Yes. Matt Peterson coming over the play here. I, I expect to see prob probably a run here to a number 27, Brian McIntosh. Yeah. Uh, up the gut, I assume. Very good um, run. He could definitely come up with, uh, with the big plays when you need him. Comes up with the big plays all the time. Peterson under center. Three in the backfield. Peterson to hike it. It's going to, looks like it's going to go up the middle, it looks like. I do believe it looks like. Ryan, Ryan McIntosh, McIntosh with the carry there. He's going to have yes. enough for the first down. Great run there. Good second effort there by Brian McIntosh. See if we get a replay of the run here. All right, well, anyways, Salisbury comes back out of the game for the Vikings. It's going to uh, bring up here uh, first down and 10 for the Vikings from their own 22-yard line. Peterson under center, all three in the backfield once again for the Vikings. Peterson hands the ball to number 28, Ryan Widener. He's going to go on to the outside. He's going to get about a yard there on the carry. Looks like uh, the Vikings might be a little bit more effective running the ball up the, uh, up the middle this time. Definitely. Uh, last week, uh, Widener had about six carries in a row. Marsh has it all the way down the field for uh, an important score Yes. Uh, against DeWitt last week. Widener had a very nice game last week. Uh, Contribute to the Hazard win. I believe he uh, ran for one touchdown and also caught one touchdown. Yep. As a matter of fact, great catch in the corner of the end zone. Yeah, very Just close. got his foot in. Very athletic catch. Very athletic. Got the foot down. He's a junior that hails from, uh, actually came from Wald Lake in Northern a couple years ago. Plays for the Vikings now. Peterson under center, second and eight. Peterson hikes the ball. So there's going to be a fumble on the play. On the play. Looks on like. Play. Looks so like Lakewood is going to come up with it here. Let's see. Nope. Referee is going to signal second down here for the Vikings. Not a mistake the Vikings want to be making there. Uh, so maybe possibly a little miscommunication there on the play. It's going to bring it third down and about ten and a half for the Vikings. Wouldn't be a surprise to see uh, McIntosh get the ball again here, Mike. Definitely not a surprise. 
Peterson comes up to the line along with the rest of the Viking team. Goes under center. We're going to have a wing to the right. Maybe a pass play. Expect to see the run, though, more yes. than likely. Here's the, it's going to be a run up the it's middle. Gonna it's going to be Brian McIntosh. is right. going to have the ball. He's going to take it across the 50. Go. He's got some speed. Number two is going to be the It'll only be man to, to see if he right can there. catch him. He's going to bring him down at about the Viking 10-yard line. Great run there by Brian McIntosh. Great what run. an athlete right there. It's going to go for about a, an 80-yard, or excuse me, a 60-yard gain there. Or a 70, actually. It'll be a 70-yard gain for a Brian McIntosh. Having a bit of trouble with my hard time with my math today. We're going to get a replay of the, uh, the uh, Brian McIntosh run here. Excellent job hiding the ball. Lakewood had no idea really who had the ball there on that play. McIntosh is going to turn on the Jets here. Number two, uh, Jason Copeland, uh, the quarterback, is going to make the tackle. Uh, good tackle there. Catch him around the legs here. Here come the Vikings up to the line. Peterson under center, all three men in the backfield. Peterson uh, takes the ball. We'll take the ball from the center here. There's going to be a handoff to number 33, Jordan Salisbury. He's going to be brought down from behind. He's going to gain about... Two or three on the play. It's going to bring up second down and about eight from the eight-yard line. Now, has will actually have the opportunity to get a first down inside about the one and a, inside about the quarter-yard line here if they need it. Good way to good way to start off their first series here. We get a replay here of the run. Check that uh, Peterson under center. Three in the backfield. McIntosh in the middle with Widener to his left and Salisbury to McIntosh's right. Here's going to be the handoff. It looks like it's going to go back to Salisbury again. He's going to run to about the two or three yard line here. And that, that will bring up third down and about, tough to say, about four yards here for the Vikings. Third and three. For the Vikings here. Mike, what, what do you expect here? To, will the Vikings uh, cash in here on third down? Um, you know. I wouldn't be surprised uh, to see maybe another pass play. Last week it seemed to work out with Ryan Widener, so that's always a possibility. Um, if not, maybe maybe a run to Brian McIntosh. Peterson under center will hand the ball off. Looks like the he's going to keep it himself, and he's going to scamper in for the touchdown. Touchdown Vikings, number 11, Matt Peterson with the score. Good drive by the Vikings there. They were in a situation, it was about third and 11 from their own 20 yard line. Uh, give to McIntosh there and uh, he was able to uh, bring it down 70 yards, put it just outside of the uh, Viking uh, 10 yard, or, uh, excuse, well the Viking 10 yard, I mean, the Lakewood Viking 10 yard line. Here's gonna, here's gonna bring up Peterson. Uh, there he is right there, your quarterback on the screen right there. Scoring the touchdown for the Vikings to kick at number 21, Martin Messina. There's the hold, the kick is up. And it is good. PAT is good. Puts the score. Hazlitt, 7. Lakewood, 0 with 3.33 remaining in the first quarter. Now, Mike, if uh, you're uh, Lakewood's coach, uh, Randall Hager here, uh, what do you say to your defense? They just gave up a 91-yard uh, uh, drive there. Well, you know, I, I would say the best thing to do is um, keep your head up, put it, put it behind you. It's early in the game, a lot of... A lot of time to play here, and um, there's a shot of I our uh, Hazlitt sideline there. Yep. So uh, I, think, I think the the Lakewood Vikings. I think they'll come back with something here. It's very early in the game. <laughs> well, I wouldn't be surprised to see Lakewood put the ball maybe in the maybe in the air a little bit more. Uh, Hazlitt's got a really good secondary though this year with uh, six five Calvin Hissong back there, uh, quarterbacking the secondary at uh, safety. And uh, 14, James Trebilcock, giving a lot of heart there. Very quick, very, very quick. Very quick, uh, very hard worker. Well, the Vikings will spread it out here, and they will kick off. Number 21, Mark Messina, the, uh, actually a former soccer player here, uh, kicking yes. for the Vikings. Good kicker, though. That's where the foot comes from, the soccer. It does come from the soccer. Well, here's the kick. Messina to boot it away. There's the kick. It's going to be a low-line driver. It's like... Uh, it's going to be picked up by Lakewood. At uh, He's going to keep it, actually. It's going to be number 30 there. He's going to be hit by, looks like, number 17, Ben Conroy, ben Con and brought down at about the Lakewood Viking 23-yard line. Good effort there by both uh, Blake Waldron and, um, and Benjamin Ben Con Conroy. Benjamin Conroy. Chasing there. him down. 
Good work. Uh, good punt, good uh, kickoff coverage there. Yes. Didn't really have much to, much going anywhere. Very good. Well, the Viking defense will come back out onto the field here. Uh, Lakewood is able to pick up two first downs before uh, running a couple option plays and uh, being stuck at the line and uh, being forced to punt. Vanderboom goes under center. Pro form uh, split outs both to the right side. We're going to run an option to the right. Number two is going to keep it. He's got a lot of room over there. He's going to be uh, stopped, pushed out of bounds by number 23, Tigana Makuna, for a gain of about 20 yards there. Uh, not bad for the Lakewood Vikings. Not bad at all. I believe, was that the Lakewood quarterback that had the run there? Yep, that's going to be an option keeper there for uh, Jeff Vanderboom. Here's Very a replay of the uh, Lakewood run. He was fast. He was able to actually track down uh, Brian McIntosh on the last play. Yep. Not going to be good, though. Uh, he was, if he's got to play two ways this whole game, especially run the option, he's going to be awful tired by the time yes. the night's over with. Taking a Makuna here, uh, actually a Michigan prospect, uh, makes a good tackle here, drives a man out of bounds. Vanderboom under center. He's going to hand it off, looks like to, uh, well, I do believe number 20 for the uh, Lakewood Vikings, Tyler Belden. Tackle made by number three there, Blake Waldron, I believe. But it was number 23 of Blake, Wal or excuse me, number three, Blake Waldron number there. Number three. It's getting a bit dark outside here. We've got some uh, gray clouds rolling in here. Uh, sky is, you got the lights on here, so overcast, it's not yeah. really much affecting there. Uh, it's a mostly cloudy, pretty overcast here in uh, Hazlitt, Michigan. Uh, with the temperature currently falling down to a uh, chilly 57 degrees. Wow. You believe this is the coolest it's been? Uh, in a long time. It's been in a while, yep. Probably, probably since uh, last spring. Yep. It's uh, Vanderboom there on the carry. He's going to pick up about three yards. It's going to be number six, Adam Vartarison, in on the stop. Another one of Hassel's players that goes both ways. He plays end on offense and uh, defensive tackle on defense. Played a little nose guard last week as well, I believe. Did play a little nose guard. Uh, Did, I believe gave, gave the Vikings a little bit more speed Quite there. successful, actually. He was quite successful. It's going to bring up third down and two from their own 49-yard line for the Lakewood Vikings. Vanderboom under center. Vanderboom will take it himself. Looks like going to have a on the play. fumble here. Looks like the Vikings are going to recover. Looks like Vanderboom wasn't exactly sure what he wanted to do there. Looks like the fumble is going to be covered by number 56, Dan Bird. Fumble force possibly there by number 74, Isaiah Mims. It's going to be a turnover there for the Lakewood. Not what you want. Not what you want after uh, We're gonna get a, a big drive here. by the Vikings. Um. Here's the, the uh, fumble here. There's a ball on the ground, actually. Yep, it's going to be recovered by number uh, 56. Uh, yep, 56 Dan Bird there with the recovery. Good work by him. Peterson in our center. Widener split off to the left. It's like he's going to give it off to uh, number... Excuse me, number 27, Brian McIntosh. Wow, had us faked out up here. Yeah. It's like Salisbury had the ball actually there. Uh, McIntosh is going to rumble for about four yards. Yeah, the defender's chasing him. You know, just, it's hard to track it down. That's so what uh, Hazel's known for is that their deception on offense and their good defense. Yep. Checking into the game for the Vikings, number 32, Jordan Montgomery, nicknamed Monty. Monty. By pretty much everybody in the entire school here. Peterson under center is going to have all three running backs in the backfield for him. Wouldn't expect to see a possible carry here to Montgomery. Uh, Peterson, uh, there's going to be a handoff to Widener. He's going to run it around the outside. He cuts it back up. He's going to gain about three on the, I actually check that, about two on the carry. He's going to bring up third down and about five for the Vikings here. It's going to be a, be a long, long third down conversion here. Uh, Last time the Vikings went to uh, McIntosh. Wouldn't be surprised to see him carry the ball again here, would you, Mike? Definitely not. Uh, he's come up with a few big plays this evening. Here's a replay in the last run here. Uh, Peterson hands it off to Widener. Good block there by Jordan Montgomery. It gives him a bit more running room there. He's going to get tripped up by, it looks like number three made the stop there, uh, Jeff Vanderboom, the quarterback on offense for Lake Lakewood. Here's the handoff. It's going to go to, if there's a fumble, fumble on the play. On the play I guess it'll be recovered by Hazlitt. Well, now, fumbles both ways for the teams. Could be a possibility of the cold weather. The ball is just yes, a little bit, a little bit too cold out there. Definitely a factor this evening. The weather, a uh, lot of wind. 
Looks like the Vikings actually might be going for it here on fourth down. Here's a replay of the fumble. Looks like uh, just a bit of miscommunication here. Looks like Peterson's actually going to recover the fumble. Good heads up play there by the quarterback. Yep. Looks like Peterson will be uh, bringing in the play here, and they're, they're going to go for it on fourth down. It's going to be the end of the first quarter. Actually, check that. It's going to be the end of the first quarter. Excuse me. It's going to bring us to the end of the first quarter, bringing the second with the Vikings. Seven, the Lakewood Vikings, zero. Wow, Mike, it's, it's getting awful confusing with the Vikings here, the Vikings there. Vikings, Vikings, here, Vikings, Vikings, there, Vikings. Man. It's a Viking battle this evening. To be honest with you, though, I think they stole the mascot from us. I think they really wanted to be more like us. And, uh, most likely. Most likely. Definitely you know. most, most likely. Uh, especially with the good football history at Hazlitt, you know. Like definitely. Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, Lakewood is a combined school district consist consisting of Lake Odessa, Sunfield, and I do believe Lakeview. Put that all together and you get Lakewood. Not sure really where they got the wood at, but uh, <laughs> I assume probably they have some trees there, maybe some shrubbery or something. <laughs> so, something to, uh, to uh, encourage the wood to be putting next to the lake. That's right. That's right. Yeah, uh, looks like we're going to have number 32, Jordan Salisbury, will be punting it away for the Vikings. Split out number 8, Joe Edwards, and number 14, James Trebilcock, as the uh, men here are trying to make the uh, initial stop uh, back to, to receive the kick. Number 8, Josh Mitchell. He's uh, not a big kid, 5'9", 170. Looks a little bit smaller than that, maybe only 5'5". Five, five. Jordan Montgomery. He's gonna punt it away. There's gonna be a great punt there by Jordan Montgomery. Well, that's gonna that's gonna be deep. He's gonna have to. He's gonna turn the corner here. We're gonna get a uh, we're gonna get a penalty here. I do believe on Lakewood. There's a flag on the play. Uh, probably gonna be a block in the back on Lakewood. On the uh, this is gonna cost him a nice return actually. Uh, this is gonna push him all the way back to about their seven yard line. I do believe maybe even further. Not what you want in a punt return, Mike. Not at all. Not at all, especially after, um, especially after the touchdown in the first quarter there and uh, a few fumbles and things. It's been it's been a rocky game so far, but that's okay. So we need a illegal use of the hands. Hold on, uh, Lake Odessa, Lakewood, Sunfield, Lakewood, something, whatever you want to call them. Lakeview. Lakeview, yeah, Lakeview too. I've actually never seen Lake Odessa before, have you? I don't think I have either. Not even on a map. I, I don't think it exists. Probably, yeah. I don't, you know. Well, anyways, yeah. back to the football game. Uh, Lakewood's going to go with a pro form. Going to put uh, staggered receivers out to the right side, or excuse me, the left side. Vanderboom under center once again. They will take over from about their own eight-yard line. It's going to be a handoff here, and he's going to go nowhere. Stopped up. Nice play there by the Viking defense. Lakewood's got not a bad team. They've, they've got a, a very big offensive line. Very big. Actually, uh, I believe I believe I heard uh, the average the average size was 240 pounds on the line. That's pretty big. That's very big. Very, very big, especially for high school football. Yes, definitely. Maybe maybe not the fastest offensive line, but they've got a lot of weight to throw around here. That's right. You go pro form again, split out to the right side. You're going to have a run up the middle there. It's like uh, by number 20, Tyler Belgen. He's going to go for a no gain. It's going to bring up third down. Actually, excuse me, third down and about 10, actually. Third yeah, they long. Got, got about a, a one yard gain there on the uh, run. A good Viking defense. Third and fairly long. Fairly long. Fairly. Fairly long. Could be worse. We're gonna but, go. Uh, uh, Lakewood's gonna go pro form. They're gonna split guys out to both sides here. We surprised to see a pass here, and it is a pass. It's gonna be Ooh, oh, bobbled there. Bobbled there. Slipped out of the hands. Would have been a nice catch if he would have been able to yeah, very make nice that. Uh, number 21, Spencer Dutes, unable to come up with it there. Uh, defense uh, applied there by number 27, Brian McIntosh. Here's a replay of the uh, passing attempt here for Lakewood. Oh. Uh, Excuse me, that's going to be the run. No, it's a passing attempt. There it is. Uh, well, th there's the hit made. If you, didn't, if, you, if you missed it, there was the hit. Good hit there by number 27, Brian McIntosh. It's like Vikings are going to come with everybody, try to block this. 
not going to be able to get to it. It's going to be, it's going to hit it about the 29. Take a Viking bounce. And it's going to be downed at the Lakewood 35-yard line. That's going to be a net punt of about 40 yards there. Uh, not a bad punt. Fortunately, he's kicking about eight yards deep in his own end zone. Vikings will take over on their own 35-yard line. Or, well, Vikings will take over on the Viking 35-yard yes, line. Yes, the Viking 35-yard line. Very good situation to be in. Very good situation. So we can capitalize on this opportunity. You don't get these opportunities very often. No, you don't. Peterson under center, all three of his running backs in the back, the two back, the three back, and the four back, as they're called here at Hazlitt High School. Peterson will take the snap from 74, Isaiah Mims. He's going to hand the ball off up. Looks like it's the first man's going to get it, actually. That's going to be uh, Brian McIntosh there. Number 27 is going to scamper for about a four-yard gain there. Bring up second and about six. Second and six. Well, now, now, if, they, if they don't come up with anything here, Greg, do you think they'll go for the field goal, or uh, do you think that could be well, Lake the win factor? Lake Odessa, Lakewood, Lakeview, Sunfield hasn't really shown much of any kind of offense, so I wouldn't be surprised to see the Vikings go for it if they uh, get in a tight fourth down situation here. Yeah. Here we're going to have a false start here on the Viking offense here. Uh, it's like, uh, not sure who moved early there, uh, maybe 54 uh, J. Harold. Not, not really sure, though, here on the, uh, the play. Somebody on the left side of things. Yep. It's going to bring up second down and 10 for the Vikings. We're going to get a false start here. On well, the Vikings, unfortunately. Unfortunate. They had a good run on first down. Uh, That's okay, gonna pick up, though. We're going to pick up a couple yards there on uh, second. Uh, bring up a short third down conversion. But uh, jump the gun there. And the Vikings will have second and 11 for them now. Peterson under center. All three of his backs in the backfield. Lake Odessa Lakewood will pack the box with... About 10 men. I believe their safety back there, uh, the quarterback, Vanderboom, actually. It's going to be a passing play here by Peterson. He's going to have Salisbury exactly. wide open. Salisbury is going to be dragged out of bounds at about the six-yard six yard line here. Great play call there by uh, Coach Charles Otluski there. Uh, Charlie with a big, big play call right there. Peterson uh, with a nice throw, rolling out to his right. That's going to bring up first and goal for the Vikings here. And a replay here of the uh, last passing conversion. Peterson's now one for two on the night. Peterson across his body. He's going to heave it up there uh, to a uh, particularly pretty open Jordan Salisbury there. Makes a good catch. He runs down the side. He's going to be knocked out of bounds, looks like, uh, by Vandercook, the quarterback slash safety defensive back for Lake Odessa. With 9.21 remaining in the first quarter, Hazlitt 7, Lakewood 0. Peterson hands the ball off. Looks like he's going to pass it again. He's going to be hauled down. Uh, gets the play, uh, gets the uh, pass off though. Smart play there by Peterson uh, to uh, uh, to uh, excuse, excuse me to uh, throw that ball away when he's uh, being pulled down there. That's a good heads up call or heads up play there uh, by Peterson. Uh. Yeah, it seems that the Vikings have had uh, quite some success this year with the passing so far. It seems like it's been uh, it's been working out for them pretty well. They don't they don't pass very often, but when they do, it seems to be working out all right. It, it does seem to be working for him. Uh, Peterson will go under center here. All three men in the backfield. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run this to the wide side here. Here's Salisbury. He's going to go wide side. He's going to cut it back up, and he's going to run in for the score. Touchdown Vikings. Yeah, yeah. Seven-yard run for number 33, Jordan Salisbury. Jordan Salisbury, yes. Pretty good football player. I had an older brother that played at Hazlitt, I think. Uh, Very good player. The Very good player's older brother. Yeah. We're going to get a replay here uh, of the, uh, there's the, uh, the moving TV25 logo all the way across the screen. Wow, look at, look at what you have there. Wow, that's, that was impressive. Uh, here we're going to get, uh, there's our student section, though, all riled up for tonight's game. Messina to kick. He'll put it up. Low kick, but it is going to be good for Messina. That'll make the Vikings of Hazlitt 14, the Vikings of Lake Odessa Lakewood zero. Here's a replay actually of the uh, the uh, scoring run here by uh, good block there by a uh, Widener gives him enough time and uh, and uh, 32 Jordan Salisbury will get the uh, final block here to uh, push the man out of the way and Salisbury will finds his way run in. into the end zone. Finds his way in. Pretty fast. Pretty fast kid. Big and fast. You can move. Okay, now Mike, your uh, 
Randall Hager, Randy, we'll call him, Randy Hager for uh, Blakewood. Uh, what, are you, what are you telling your players now? Now you're down by 14 to uh, one of the, actually one of the best teams in the state, oh, Division man. Three. I don't know, man, the Vikings, it's a tough situation when the Hazel Vikings capitalize with two touchdowns on you. This early in the game, we still have nine minutes left in the second quarter, and um, I guess all you can say is keep your heads up, boys, keep going, and We'll see what the yeah, Vikings come out, out here with uh, to kick this one off. Honestly, wouldn't be surprised to see a little trickery from uh, Coach O here. Maybe uh, maybe dub this kick, uh, squib it here, may possibly get a recovery here, force a fumble. Messina 21 will kick it off for the Vikings. There's the kick. It's gonna it's gonna be a long one, driven all the way back to about the five yard line uh, of Lakewood. He's gonna actually cut through a couple Vikings there, and he's gonna. Bring it all the way out to about the Viking has or the uh, Lake Odessa Lakewood Viking 28 yard line. Well, no, no, a bad return there. It goes for about uh, 23 yards. Looks like a uh, Viking. Uh, maybe if he would have hopped over one more tackle there, he could have had a little bit of running room. There's a uh, defensive so coordinator Robert yeah. Port there. It's always the extra effort that counts, makes the difference. Vandercook will uh, bring the play into his his team here. So we're going to get a late substitution. Uh, number eight, Josh Mitchell will uh, check into the game for uh, Lakewood. We're going to go, uh, actually he's going to come back out of the game. We're going to have an illegal uh, substitution call here. Too many men in the huddle for uh, Lakewood. Not really sure why eight came into the game there. Uh, he's listed as quarterback. And uh, looks like he's going to get a mouthful from his coach here. Not really sure what happened there. Oh, actually no. Check that. We're going to have a uh, Flag's not going to be called here. You have it waved off. Looks like uh, he was uh, actually not involved there. Uh, they have uh, one man in the backfield. Uh, looks like Lake Odessa Lakewood's going to put everybody they can up on the line to try to get some kind of running game going here. And uh, the Vikings are just all over that. Tackled by about six or seven Vikings there. He's going to lose. Looks like about three yards on the play. That's going to be third and long, and with uh, Lakewood Vikings trailing, it's kind of a tough situation right here. What do you think? What do you think is going to happen here, Greg? Well, here's a replay here. Uh, 20 is just going to be stuffed by uh, looks like uh, number 25 for the Vikings, uh, Nick Evon, making the initial stop there for the Vikings. Plays nose tackle for the Vikings here. It's going to bring up second down and about 12. Like Odessa with one man in the backfield, ace form here. It's going to be a uh, option play, and the Vikings are all over the backfield. That's going to be number 55, Nicholas King, in there on the stop. It's going to bring up third down and about 13 from their own 26-yard line. The King's a very good, very uh, good football player. Very, very strong. Big, strong, quick. Look, that's good, definitely what you like to have. Of, uh, everything. Good football player. Looks like uh, Vayner Cook will give the team, will give the playoff to his team here, and he will bring out the ace form again. Two tight ends, two split or uh, two wide receivers split out. Here's going to be the <laughs> pass here by Vayner Cook. He's going to be brought down by number 17, Benjamin David Conroy. I had there. no idea he was even coming. Blindsided stop there. Great play there by uh, 17, uh, Ben Conroy. It's going to bring up fourth down and about 16 for uh, Lakewood. Check that, about fourth and 14. To punt it away for uh, Lakewood, uh, it's like, uh, well, can't really see the number right now. Uh, back to return for the Vikings, though, is Jordan Montgomery. He uh, broke one uh, long out for a touchdown uh, in the game against Lansing Eastern. It's like Hazlitt's going to, uh, it's like Montgomery will take the fair catch at, at the Lake Odessa Lakewood Viking 49 yard line. Good smart play call there uh, by uh, Jordan Montgomery there. With uh, 6.39 remaining in the first half, Hazlitt 14, Lakewood zero. Mike, what do you expect to see on uh, this set of, set of downs for the Vikings here? Run, pass, pass, run, 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 run. Um, you know, I think I think with a 14-0 lead, it gives you a few more options. Um, 
wouldn't be surprised to see a few pass plays, even though that's not the Viking style. The Vi has a Viking style, I should say. We're gonna have a, actually a penalty here on the Vikings, an invert face mask called on them on their return. It's only a five yard penalty though. They'll uh, start to drive from their own 46 yard line now. Brings up first down as well. Peterson will bring the team to the line. He's gonna have all, he's actually gonna have a uh, wing out to the right. Looks like it to be Widener there, wing out to the left, excuse me. Peterson and take the ball from Mims. Here's the handoff, looks like it's gonna, go, actually, it's gonna be a pass play. A pass. It's a reverse over here to, uh, check that out, a reverse play. Calvin, by Calvin Hisson. Calvin hisson has got, That's he's got a lot of room ahead, ahead of him. He's got number two, Vandercook. He runs right over top of him. Vandercook able to make the stop though. And he's gonna be down at about the three yard line. Great play call there by Coach Hill. I haven't seen that play all year. Uh, yes. It was, uh, that was different. We were expecting a pass over to Salisbury and uh, Peterson had a bit of pressure on him. Threw the ball back over to the right side uh, to a wide open uh, Calvin Hissung. Here's gonna be the end of the play here, the end of the run. Great play there by uh, Calvin Hissung. He's uh, gonna take this right past everybody down to about the three yard line and uh, Vander Cook's gonna try to get in the way and he's just gonna get bowled over. He just gets, gets smoked there. Here's Peterson under center, three men in the backfield. Peterson will hand the ball off to Widener and he's gonna go in for the score. Touchdown Vikings. This is gonna be a uh, three yard touchdown run for Mr. Ryan Widener. Two plays on the scoring drive. Good drive for the Vikings. Good, real good job for the Vikings. Uh, that, was, yeah. that was a quick possession there. I, I was expecting a pass play, as I said, and uh, you were right. It came up. Good work there by Mike G. Yes. That's gonna make the score. Hazlitt twenty, Lakewood zero. Cal gonna we're gonna have the. Uh, he's a high percentage kicker. He's high, a high percentage, high percentage in the, with the PAT. We had the Hisong Hisong Messina connection here. Brent Hisong the long snapper to Calvin Hisong Cousins and Messina to kick it up. And it is good for Messina. Makes the score, Hazlitt 21, Lakewood 20. Okay, Mike, now you're down by 21. Randy's down by 21. What's he doing now? What's he telling his troops? Here's a- I'm out of ideas, Greg. How about, what do you think? What well, do you think? Here's Calvin Hissong taking the, uh, the replay here again. He's gonna, great play call there. That, that's gotta be a new one for this week. Uh, New one to bring out, a uh, smart play there. Vander Cook, the quarterback on offense, the defensive back on defense. Very and, uh, nice run, well, here's, And there's the, the touchdown run right there. Wow, you had two plays for the price of one there. Two plays. Well, the Vikings will take the, uh, well, they're gonna kick off to the Vikings. The Lakewood Vikings. To the Lakewood Vikings. So, yeah, so anyways, Greg, uh, yeah, yeah, what do you think? What do you think? Uh, well, if I if I if I'm Randall Randy, as I'll call him, what I, what I'd be doing is, I'm just trying to fire my troops up. There's a lot of time left in the game. You're only down by 21. Hey, there we are. I, there we are. Yes. How's everybody doing down up there? Up in the box. <laughs> it's a little bit chilly up here with the wind. Yeah. Well, not, the, not too the window, bad. The window's out. Uh, window's Mike out. G's got his, he's got his sleeves rolled up there. It's all right though. Oh. Well. Uh, Anyways, we'll uh, get back to the game here with uh, five minutes and 56. Uh, Hazel's going to kick it on side there. there. And it's going to be recovered by Lake Odessa Lakewood. I knew they were going to do one of those. Did I say it? Yeah, well, it looks like Lake Odessa Lakewood was uh, figured, uh, figured Hazlitt out there. Uh, good uh, they good, uh, good they hands. They were ready for it. The hands team was in there. Maybe a little stick of mine the hands, keep the ball, make sure, make sure it's stuck on them. Yep. Yeah, well, well, Cooking oil, maybe. A little, little Pam on there. <laughs> a little spray on Pam. Nonetheless, though, the uh, Vikings will, the Lakewood Vikings will uh, go pro form receivers to the left and the right. Hazlitt with five down linemen, three linebackers. For me, they get to number 20, Tyler Beglin, and he's going to be uh, stopped for about a two yard gain. He's brought down by number 74. Isaiah Mims Isaiah. plays uh, plays center on the basketball team as well. Yes, he's a big kid, good athlete. He's got a lot of touch around that hoop. Oh yeah, he's a big guy. He is a big kid. Plays center on offense, yep. defensive line on defense. Uh, Lake Odessa Lake will come to the line. Pro form receivers to the left and to your right. 
here's the play. It's going to be a pass. It's going to be swing out to the right there. He's going to be stopped by number 32 on the initial stop, Jordan Montgomery, and then that tackled by a host of Vikings. Number five, Calvin Hissong, makes the hit there. It'll bring up third down and nine for Lankwood. Here's a replay of the uh, last stop for the Vikings. Uh, Vanderboom to pass. He's got an open receiver here. Catches the ball, nicely done. Keeps his eyes on it the whole time. And then here comes the man. He's just gonna tear him up by his wrist. I, Mims is gonna hit him. Calvin Hislong's gonna hit him. And he's just gonna be taken down. Here's this is a key play right here for the Vikings. Third down and nine. Pro form, receivers to the left and the right. Here's gonna be oh, wow. Ben Conroy had that play sniffed Brought out from down. the get-go. Quarterback Vanderboon had nowhere to go. Ben Conroy's been sneaky this evening. I believe that might be his second one. Second sack of the night second for uh, sack of the night. Benjamin Conroy. He's all over the place. He's tonight. all over. All over. He's quick. Another one that has what's uh, basketball players actually too. Yeah. There's a Vanderbilt. shot from Got our uh, Canon camera down there on the sideline. Uh, Jeremy taking some shots for us. Uh, great picture quality there. It will. Uh, Very good. It comes fourth down. Uh, Lake Odessa, Lakewood, Sunfield, Lakeview will punt it away to number 32 Jordan Montgomery. Here's the kick. Vikings come with the block, unable to get it. Here's a nice kick way up in the air. He's going to be hit Ooh. as soon as he catches it. I think he was a little close there, Greg. A little close. We're going to have no halo violation, though. Uh, actually taken no out taken out by college this year. Uh, not sure what uh, the uh, uh, high school did with it, though, this year. Uh, didn't appear to be within two yards, though, anyways. Yeah. Uh, the Vikings will take over with 342 remaining in the second quarter. The score 21 to zero in favor of uh, the Hazard Lakers. Yes. Peterson will bring the team to the line. Mims at the center with three of his backs, all of them in the backfield. Wouldn't be surprised, maybe a give to McIntosh here. Probably try, try to score before the uh, half is ended here. Wouldn't be surprised. Here's the handoff. It's gonna be uh, up the middle by Widener and he's gonna be stopped way behind the line. He's gonna get his forward progress though. He's gonna be down at about the uh, 29 yard line, or excuse me, the 24 yard line. It's gonna be a loss of about three yards. Lakewood had that one sniffed out from the get go. Here's yes, a replay they did. of the play. Sniffed out. It's gonna be, uh, looks like a, a bit of a delay here. Weiner tries to spin it out. Uh, he goes nowhere. That's gonna be number 65. Ryan Fan in on the stop for all Lakewood. We're gonna have a, uh, yeah, not really sure what's going on. We're gonna have a timeout called, uh, looks like by uh, has well, timeout by somebody. You're gonna get the water could, boys uh, running it on out here. Could be a TV timeout, maybe not, probably not. Let's see what's going on here. That's gonna be a uh, timeout called by the Vikings. They are first to charge timeout of the half, and that will uh, give them two remaining in the last 3.25 of the game. Looks like the Vikings are, are gonna try to uh, get a score here before the half is ended. Wouldn't be surprised to see another pass play here, would you, Mike? Absolutely not. No pressure. Well, Might as well see what you can do here. While we're, uh, you know, hanging out here with you guys, uh, we'd uh, like to introduce some of our seniors uh, for this year. Uh, playing, uh, no, well, number 56 for the Vikings is uh, Nicholas King. He's a center. He plays, usually plays two ways. Uh, actually, num check that, number 55, he plays uh, offense and defense. Guard, tackle, whatever you may have here. Uh, one of uh, Hazlitt's uh, excellent players. Uh, yeah. Also on the line tonight, number 54, Jay Harold, uh, plays baseball as well as he played basketball last year too. Yeah. Fortunately, had to miss most of last year with a torn ACL. Uh, yeah, he's had a lot of injuries. A lot of injuries. His, uh, high school career. High school yeah. career. Broken hand last year for baseball. Didn't come back till about the uh, last week of the season. Peterson goes under center. There's going to be the. Uh, it's like the handoff's going to go up the gut to uh, number 27, Brian McIntosh. He's going to be hauled down after he gains about six yards. Bring up third down and about five for the Vikings with the clock still moving with 3.05 remaining in the first half. Well, Mike, pass. Could be, we got Adam Varteris on the end here and um, last week he had a touchdown. Wouldn't be surprised to see another pass play to him this evening. That's what the Vikings um, do here. 
Peterson tries to draw him outside. Like We're going to have a false start, I do believe, on the Vikings, it looks like, unfortunately. But we'll, you'll never know here. See, the, the penalty's going to come on. The Vikings look like it's... Oh, it's going to be offsides on Lakewood. That's going to be a five-yard penalty and in the neutral zone before the ball was snapped. Looks like it's going to be a third down... Well, we're gonna check here if it's gonna be third, if it's gonna be first down, if it's gonna be third down, and a short three chain links. Well, let's see here. So you're gonna have a first down by penalty here. Actually, no, excuse me, it's gonna be third down. Oh, nope, nope, first down for the Vikings on the penalty. Way to get the first down, stop the clock for a while. Viking, Vikings have been making big plays this evening. As always, like as always, always, always making big plays. Peterson goes under center, all three of his backs in the backfield. Here's going to be the handoff, looks like to, uh, so he's going to be a pass, excuse me, wow. There's Tigana McCoon out there, he makes the catch for the first down. Wow, Greg, I, I believe that might be the longest pass of the year. I do believe So it. far. I, uh, last week's touchdown grab to, to Vartarison was a- That was pretty, yeah. Was pr pretty far too, it was, actually, I think that was probably the same play there. Uh, just yeah, to a, to a different, like different play there. It looks like the same play. Uh, it's going to bring up first down for the Vikings. Stops the clock as they move the chains here with 2.38 remaining in the second quarter. Peterson, another good catch there. I believe there are three for five tonight. More passes already than he had against the Wood all, I think all game. He's getting a little more confidence in his passing game. and His uh, receivers are getting open today, too. Yes, definitely. Lakewood packs the box. Peterson under center, three men in the backfield. Here's going to be the handoff. Looks like to Widener. He's going to cut it back up, and he's going to be stopped. He's going to have a gain of about one on the play with uh, the clock still rolling. Widener, not much going for him tonight. Uh, looks like a Lakewood's got the outside hunted out. Probably saw the uh, DeWitt film here and uh, realized that Hazlitt uh, was very successful running the ball. Here's a replay of uh, Widener's run here. He's going to take the ball and, well, here we are back to the game. Peterson under center. It's going to be a, another passing play. He's going to throw it off to Widener. Widener's going to catch it. He's going to be out of bounds. I believe he stepped out at about stepped. the 33-yard uh, like line. Looks like, it, no, he's going to be out about the 32 here. 32, 32 yeah. 32-yard line. That's going to be a first down for the Vikings. Out of bounds. Stops the clock. You know, actually, that might have been better than, than taking it up four or five more yards and getting tackled on the field. Yep. Looks like Peterson was looking for Vartaris in there. Uh, Vartaris had actually two men on him and uh, was able to hook up with uh, actually Ryan Number Widener 30. there. Number, yep. Number 28, Ryan Widener. Mims to snap the ball to Peterson. Peterson, all three of his men in the backfield again. Here they come. Here's going to be the handoff to, uh, looks like McIntosh. He's going to stumble around. He's going to be down. Fortunately, couldn't keep his footing there. He might have had a touchdown here. The clock continues to roll with... 136 remaining in the first quarter, or excuse me, second quarter and the half. Yeah, a little hurry up offense here for the Vikings. No huddle here. Looks like we'll see what we're gonna get here. Peterson checks the play with his with his backs. Montgomery, or uh, excuse me, Salisbury to go wing right. Here's the handoff. Looks like it's gonna be. Uh, he's gonna. Looks like uh, McIntosh is gonna be uh, stopped at the line of scrimmage. As the clock continues to roll with 1.05 remaining in the first half. The Vikings, will, I assume, will probably throw here on third down, and if they don't get it, throw on fourth down here. Uh, possibly kick if they need to. The wind is, uh, might be a factor here. It's uh, died down a little bit. Uh, Peterson will go back under center again here. Three men in the backfield. Here's Peterson's going to keep it himself. Oh, great hide there. He's got the ball. Great hide there by Peterson. He's going to run Very enough for the hide. first down. Wow, that, that, that reminds me of uh, Texas A&M last night. Uh, seeing their quarterback, he hit the ball real well last oh, night yeah. behind his back and uh, was able to... Was what able was his to name, McNeil? McNeil? Yeah, McNeil for uh, McNeil. Texas A&M. It's like uh, Peterson maybe getting some ideas from the, oh, uh, yeah. the college game. He there. watched the game last night. He watched it and he got the ideas. He got, and got the ideas here. Look at Peterson, fakes the handoff. And, and wow, you know what? I don't think anybody can see who has that ball there. Nobody even knew. I just watched him go right along now, it's about right by himself. And it's going to be tackled there uh, by a number uh, three for uh, Lakewood, Jeff Vanderboom, quarterback tackling the quarterback. 
That kid's yep. got to be one tired. He's got to be really tired after the game. What's his name? Vanderboon? Vanderboon. Vanderboon. Boone. Well, plays two ways every play, all the time. That's a long, that's a long, uh, that's a long game. It's a long season. That's a long high school career for playing both ways, man. Playing both ways. Definitely is. Uh, it's also a, usually is a downfall to most teams. They just get too tired and can't yep. keep playing. Uh, I remember Williamson did that last year with their quarterback. Uh, played linebacker and ran the option. Uh, it's a good thing uh, Pearson only has to play one way here for the Vikings. Yep. Let's see what they can come up with here. Peterson will go under center. We're going to have a wing to the right side of the field. Coach Joe has always got something in the bag. Always has something in the bag. Could be something exciting here. You never, you never know, but. Here you go. Peterson will take the snap. It's going to be a hand. It's going to be a pass. Excuse me. Pass to 28. Brian Mackin. Or excuse Taking me. Taking a Makuna. Three. Taking a Makuna. That's a touchdown. D1 prospect right there. University of Michigan. He's been. Uh, been to a game, check out the locker room, talk to the coaches. If he doesn't go to Michigan, I'd definitely be sure he'll, he'll be going Division II for sure. Could be. If uh, if he's unable to. Many uh, many good options uh, for Division II. Grand Valley State University. The uh, 2002 in, National Champions. Which is in Michigan, Grand Rapids area. Allendale. Won, won the National Championship last year. Here's uh, Messina to kick it from the Hisson Connection. Messina boots it up, and it's going to be through the uprights. The kick is good for the Vikings. The score with 33.1 seconds left. Hazlitt 28, Lake Odessa, Lakewood, Sunfield, and Lakeview 0. A lot of passing tonight. Yeah, we're going to uh, get a replay here, possibly, of the... Uh, oh, yeah, we already we missed the replay. Anyways, well... A lot like, of passing. Uh, if you're uh, Randall, Randall here, uh, what what are you doing for uh, Lakewood now? You gonna you gonna try maybe a trick trickery on the kickoff here? I don't think I'm gonna be expecting anything too fancy. Um, just get through the half, you know. It's been a it's been a tough half for the Lakewood Vikings, and uh, I think they need to regroup during halftime. Lakewood doesn't here. have a very large team at all. Uh, has it's got about probably three times the players yes. Lakewood does. Um, Lakewood's probably got enough guys for everybody, for everybody to go each way. Probably yeah. about six or seven left over. So we've got a roster of about 30. Um, Whereas the Vikings, uh, they have a lot of guys. Lots. Lots of guys. Much, much more. Much, uh, many much more, more to choose from. Well, Messina will kick it off with 31, or excuse me, 33.1 seconds remaining here. Got uh, maybe possibly another squib here uh, for the Vikings, running a little bit more time off the clock. Here's Messina. He's actually going to kick it long. It's going to be a shorter kick here. He's going to, so he's going to be fumbled. Number 20 is going to keep it, and uh, he's going to run up the side. He's got a little bit of room there. He's going to be brought out down by number eight, Joe Edwards, at about the Vike at the Lakewood Viking 31-yard line, where they will take over on offense. Well, the Vikings are going to bring in a uh, sort of prevent defense here uh, to uh, make sure uh, the Lakewood Vikings don't go long here. Uh, they've got a ways to go, though. They have three timeouts, but only 24.9 seconds. When, what are you expecting go, here, Greg? I, what expect, are you expect I expect a pass. I mean, you might as well give it a try. Yep. So yeah, they're going to hand it off and go up the middle. Uh, looks like number uh, 20 there. Pretty good run there. Not a bad run. Uh, looks like number... Uh, Number or number eight, Josh Mitchell will carry it. Number three, Blake Waldron will make the stop. It's going to bring up second and two for Lake Odessa. Nick King coming on. Here, actually, Lake Lakewood's just going to run out. This is going to be the end of the first half. Hazlitt 28. Yeah, Lakewood that's gonna, zero. That's going to do it for the half. Good half for the Vikings. Good half. 14 points in the first quarter. 14 in the second. Not much more, Coach. Uh, uh, Lucy can ask for here. Uh, great first half uh, out of the Vikings. Uh, we're going to leave you at halftime with the band, the Hazlitt Viking Marching Band. So we will be back for the second half. Start things back off with the final score, the halftime score right now. Hazlitt 28, 
Lake Odessa, Lakewood, zero. <laughs> presents the piece to get the whole place shaken, shaken at the high school hop.
the highest chart. Remember, you could be singing this next number, the band's final tune, Beauty School Rapper. to introduce the members of the outstanding senior class of the Viking Marching Band. Introducing Tony Apicelli, accompanied by Mike and Linda Apicelli. <laughs> Julie Behrman with Randy and Rebecca Nakata. Shana Brown with Larry and Cindy Brown. Sharon Button with David and Kathy Button. Jacqueline Carlson with Greg and Kristen Carlson. Ryan Colthorpe with Todd Colthorpe and Beth Brown. Mary Ann Deshane, accompanied by Phil and Claudia Deshane. Deanna Dodson, accompanied by Tim, Trista, and Angela Dodson. Andrew Donaldson, accompanied by Mike Joy Donaldson. Mike Ezro with Anita Ezro. Andy George with Tom and Ava George. Crystal Holt with Carl Holt. Steve Irwin with Jeff and Patty Irwin. Justine Taylor with Melody and Steve Taylor. Autumn Lacala with Brian and Amy Lacala. Josh Mathias with Gary and Pam Mathias. Trevor McMahon with Jennifer Downs. Taylor Rice, accompanied by Charles and Coyne Rice. Ashley Lyersey with Dean Lyersey. Nathan Rock with Brian and Sherry Rock. Brian Wagonek with Amy and Mary Wagonek. Nathan Wilkie, accompanied by Linda and Ken Wilkie. And Amy Winder with Janice and Rick Winder. Ladies and gentlemen, the seniors of the Viking Marching Band.
Julie Rutcook for happy birthday, and Matt Peterson wants to wish his Aunt Mary Ann happy 60th. Looks good to me. Vikings are taking the field currently as we speak, getting all stretched out and ready to go. We've got about two minutes and 30 seconds until the second half uh, commences here. Now, Mike G, uh, Hazlitt's up 28-0 right now. Uh, what adjustments does uh, Charlie Alewski make at halftime? You know what? I believe that there aren't too many adjustments to be made, personally. I mean. They've changed some things up. They've been passing the ball a little bit more this evening than normal, it seems like. And uh, I think if they just come out, they got to definitely stay focused, not get overconfident, and uh, come out, play strong, stick with the game plan that they've had, uh, that they had in the first half. And I think, I think uh, they're on their way to a W. I would agree with that. Um, what about for Lakewood? What do they need to change uh, to get back in this game? Um, Lakewood. Well, I think... Uh, That's the team I, over there. That's Lakewood I over there. I think yeah. uh, to, to Lakewood's right. got some opportunities. I think they got, I mean, you know, has us up by four touchdowns. It's going to be It's gonna be tough for Lakewood to come back. Score so four what touchdowns. you're telling me is, in order for Lakewood to win this game, they're going to need to probably score more touchdowns than Hazlitt. Yeah, that would need to happen, definitely. Got to put some points on the board somehow. But um, I think, you know, I think if they come out and play hard, they might get some opportunity, some more opportunities than they had in, in the first half, and uh, and they could be on their way to a comeback. What do you think? Well, 28 points. Hazel gets the ball start in the second half. I think Lakewood's going to be in trouble. Once we get past that, once we get up, Hazel gets up by 35 points, uh, the clock is going to continuously roll until uh, Lakewood gets it back under 35 points. Um, I, think, I think the next, next touchdown in the game is, uh, is going to be uh, the deciding factor. The deciding so. factor. I mean, has us up by a lot right now, but if Lakewood can maybe capitalize uh, well, I early think in the half. Lakewood probably got about 50, maybe 50 yards of total offense right now. Uh, Hazel's defense has been uh, doing an excellent job uh, this game. Uh, Lakewood's had a lot of Nothing. We could say that. Yes. Um, well, the Vikings won't bring out their. Well, they're gonna. Well, the Vikings will uh, keep their uh, starting lineup in the game for a bit longer here, uh, possibly when it gets about maybe if if the game does uh, push to uh, 35 to zero, uh, wouldn't be surprised to uh, see the second stringers come in. Yeah. And Hazel's got a really good second string as we saw against uh, Lansing uh, Eastern. Uh, the yeah. Priest Watson number nine. Very, very quick. Cut very athletic. Runner. Very good athlete. He had an amazing run, in my opinion, against Eastern. Uh, I think it was a touchdown run, and he really, uh, he impressed me, you know. And I think he, I think he could be, I think he, he might see some, some time next year, a lot of time maybe, you know. He'll be competing with the other backs. All Ryan three of them, actually. All three of them are juniors, but... You know, it, it's just going to give them more depth. You know, it's going to be it's a good situation. It's a good situation for the Vikings when for you've the got, future. You know, in yeah. the, when you have in the game four guys who can run the ball, the quarterback, your three running backs, and then you can ha you can even hand the ball off to your tight ends too. Yeah. All three, all all uh, six guys, all six of those guys are uh, very capable of uh, running the ball. I uh, wouldn't be surprised to uh, see some substitutions take place in the second half, though. Well, here's Lakewood's going to kick it off for the first time all night. It's uh, going to be number 14, Tyler Harms. They boot it off. He's going to kick it outside. Onside sides, kick. And that ball is going to be recovered Lakewood. by Lakewood. It's like Lakewood's going to take over from the Hazlitt 45-yard uh, line. Uh, Hazlitt caught off guard there, definitely. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, yeah. we weren't even pushed up to the 50. Uh, Lakewood, uh, smart play there. And... Uh, 
and take the ball back over. Well, the Vikings looked a little lax, I think, on that on that kickoff, but that's okay. Just got to regain focus. And, uh, got a lot. They got a big big lead right now. Just got to keep keep things well, going. Play tough Vander, defense here. Vanderbilt will go under center and pro form wide receivers to his left and to his right. Vanderbilt will take the snap. He's going to run an option to his left. He's going to cut it back up. He's going to keep the ball himself. He's going to be stopped down. Looks like Hazlitt picked up a fumble there. He's going to be uh, called it down due to the ground. He's going to pick up about four there on the carry. He's going up second and about six or seven here. Taking the Makuna, number 23, making a stop there for the Vikings. Good tackle there. Vander Boone will uh, bring his troops again to the line here. Let's try to make something happen here tonight. Uh, number gonna 66. Going to go throw form uh, with the receivers to the right and to the left. Vander Boone takes the from the center. He's going to run an option. He's going to actually he's going to run it into a pass though. Ben Conroy is going to hit him from behind. Uh, looks like interception almost made by uh, number 23, taking the Makuna there. He felt a lot of pressure there. Uh, had to let that ball go. A great uh, defensive play there by the Vikings. It's gonna uh, pressure applied by uh, pressure uh, by uh, 74 Isaiah Mims and uh, 17 Benjamin David Conroy. Benjamin's been he's been getting back. He's there been flying well around today. Oh yeah, all over the place tonight. He's had a nice game so far. Looks like Lakewood's gonna come back up to the line. Uh, Vander Boone's gonna go back under center once again. Pro form. Wide receiver to his right and to his left. It's going to be a fumble on a snap. Looks like it's uh, going to be recovered back by Lakewood again, though. It's going to bring up fourth down and about eight. Looks like uh, the uh, Lakewood Vikings are going to have to punt it away once again here. Well, they're not really sure what they want right now. Here comes the punt unit. It's going to come on for the Lakewood Vikings. Fortunately, they're fumbling the ball on third down. It uh, doesn't help you out very much. Yep. And... Uh, Gonna lose it down there, and it's gonna bring up fourth it down. Number 32, Jordan Montgomery. Is that Monty? That yeah. is Monty. That's Monty. He's back for the kick here. Let's see returning, what he can do. returning kicks all year long. Yes. He's a quick, quick player. Brings success to the program. I, well, well Hazlitt might be expecting a little trickery here. It looks like uh, Lakewood's gonna kick it away. That's gonna be a low line drive kick caught by Calvin Hissong. Actually, the ball booted right at him and. Uh, He's going to pick it up and uh, take it out to the 41-yard line. Good heads-up play there by uh, number five, Kelvin Hisson. So we get a replay there of the punt to return by Hisson. So Hisson might have been even, even expecting that. Possibly uh, Hazlitt might have picked that up on uh, some scouting film there. Nonetheless, though, uh, the Hazlitt Vikings will take back the game back over from their own 42-and-a-half-yard line. Here's uh, the replay of the uh, punt. Kelvin Hissong picks it up there. Uh, maybe unexpectedly coming to him. Well, back to the play at hand. Peterson goes under center. There, actually, we see a little bit more of the, run of the replay there. There we go. Peterson under center is going to hand it off to Widener. Widener's going to scamper for about four there. Good run there by uh, number 28, Ryan Widener. Ryan Widener. Good blocking there by the entire uh, defensive line all the way through. Uh, good play there by uh, keeping their heads on a swivel, looking to block whatever is in their path. Yes. Yes. Peterson back under center. Looks like we're gonna have uh, official time. Oh, we're gonna get a timeout called by Lakewood here. It's gonna be Lakewood's first time out of the half with nine, 49 remaining in the, the third quarter. It's gonna be second and five when we come back here. Coach O is gonna pull something out of the bag here as usual. Big play call. Expect a probably a run. McIntosh possibly up the middle. Maybe give to Salisbury or Montgomery here. And then uh, third down should come upon us. And, uh, we'll give the uh, ball to uh, 27 Brian McIntosh. Four, legitimate 4-4 four, four speed for Brian McIntosh. Yes, uh, very, very, very fast. Uh, there's a shot of our uh, Viking sideline there, number 17. Uh, uh, excuse me, Ben Conroy. Uh, David. Through there. David Benjamin Conroy, that would be. Well, good shot of there, uh, number uh, 59, Chris Sherman there for the Vikings. Uh, Chris Sherman. Looking, getting ready to go into the game there. Uh, there's a water boy there, too, uh, number 81. Junior Vike. 
Junior Viking. Junior Viking. Junior Viking right there, yeah. yeah. All right, well, the Vikings will uh, start the uh, game here. The clock uh, getting ready to move once the ball is snapped here. Peterson under center. Three in the backfield. Peterson's going to hand the ball off. It looks to be to, uh, well, it's going to be 27, Brian McIntosh. He's going to run it up the middle. Good stop there by uh, number 32, Mark Miller, a 6'4", 205 senior for Lake Odessa, Lakewood, Sunfield, and Lakeview. Lakeview. What's going to go no huddle here for the Vikings. Oh. Peterson's going to, so he's going to hand the ball off to Widener. Widener's going to have some room. Oh, excuse me. Wow, they're just Very hiding, the ball, sneaky, hiding the ball from everybody tonight. That's going to be Peterson on the quarterback keeper there. I mean, you can watch these guys as carefully. You can just try and focus, and you just never, it's just tricky, you know. You just, you never know until it's, until the play's over. A couple years, a couple years back when uh, Hazlitt had uh, Logan Barnhart in the back, there, I mean, there, were, there were games where the referees would be blowing the whistle, calling the play dead, and Logan Barnhart would be running down the sideline, scoring a touchdown for the Vikings. Yeah, the, uh, I would say that's something the Vikings got to be known. The school, Hazlitt Vikings got to be known for. The high, high school athletic association changed the rules on uh, arm guards uh, for uh, hiding the ball. Actually, it's going to be a give to uh, number 32, Jordan Montgomery. He's going to go down the sideline, past the 20, with the speed. past the 10. He's going to be tripped up just before the goal line. He's going to be down at about the two-yard line. Great run there by uh, Jordan Montgomery. Good uh, play call there uh, by Coach O. Give it to uh, Jordan Montgomery and have him run it down the uh, left side of the field there. Yeah, again, this could be this could be the turning point in the game right here. This could be a backbreaker for Lakewood. Right? We're, we're going to get a replay here of uh, Montgomery's run here. There it is, Peterson. Ah, there you go. You can see uh, you can see that handoff right there. Montgomery is going to run past a bunch of guys. He breaks a couple tackles there, actually. He's going to cut it back up the field past the quarterback, uh, Van Boon. Van Boon, and he's going to... Vander Boon. Take it down to Vander. the uh, three-yard three line here. Peterson under center. The uh, handoff here is to number 32, Montgomery. He's going to run in untouched for the score. Touchdown, Vikings. Number 32, Jordan Montgomery uh, caps off of his drive with a two-yard touchdown run. That will make the score Hazlitt 34, Lakeview, Lake Odessa, Sunfield, and Lakewood 0. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of... That's a lot of points for the Vikings right now. Uh, yeah, a lot of points for the Vikings. A lot of, a lot of points for the Vikings. Uh, Here's the hisong hisong Messina connection here. Brent Hissong will snap the ball to Calvin Hissong, who will hold for the man, Mark Messina. Messina gets the kick up, and it is good for Messina. Oh, 35-0, Mike. Uh, you're Randall Hager now, and his assistant coaches, Phil Savage, Dale Ratliff, and Keith Carpenter. What are you telling, what are you telling your team now? Um, Keep your heads in the game. Keep I your mean, head up. I mean, you can't tell them to let it go, obviously. Just, just, uh, but you're pl you're keep playing, playing the game, you know. Playing, keep playing team. the game. You're playing for the love of the game, you know. It's going to be tough to win this one, but might as well go out there and have some fun at this point, you know. Yeah. Agreed. Well, the Vikings will take the field again with a 35-0 uh, to zero lead with 8.47 remaining in the third quarter. Mark Messina will uh, kick things off here for the Vikings. Uh, I would not expect to see an onside kick here out of the Vikings like uh, Lakeview tried last time. Definitely uh, not. They were successful on the recovery there uh, for them. Uh, there's yep. the, uh, the referee there uh, talking uh, with a uh, number 20, Tyler Bowden. Uh, he's a uh, deep back to receive as well. Uh, Messina will kick things off here for the Vikings. A lot of kickoffs today for Messina. A lot of when, kickoffs. When you score a lot of uh, touchdowns, you got to kick the ball off. He's using that soccer foot, you know. It's just it's, bring, it's been bringing him success. This bringing season. him some. He's actually wearing a soccer cleat as well too. Yeah, definitely, definitely. There's the kick. He's gonna pooch this one up in the air. Twenty. Tyler Pelican's gonna get it. it looks like we're gonna have maybe a little uh -oh. trickery here. He doesn't have. It's gonna number two. Uh, uh, Jeff Vanderboon's at was actually uh, took the ball uh, from. We've been uh, seeing Tyler Belgren and uh, didn't really work. Mike, do you recall the uh, when Hazlitt used to do the uh, starburst? All uh, 11 men would gather around in a circle. They'd pass it around and uh, then try to uh, run it out of that. Uh, haven't yeah. seen that much in the last couple of years. Yeah, uh, I haven't either. Is that a, a Tom um, Motherwell play? 
possibly uh, <laughs> Thomas Motherwell, a Hazlitt former uh, football coach and uh, tennis coach. Could actually. have been something he left behind. Could have been. You know? it's, it's a possibility, yes. Um, yeah, I, I do recall that. And Here's the handoff uh, to, uh, he was going to give it to uh, Tyler Belgren there, uh, Van Boone to Tyler Belgren, and uh, that's going to go uh, absolutely nowhere. It's going to bring up second down and uh, 10 for the Vikings of Lakewood. Keith Smythe in the game. Keith Smythe. Number two, uh, he's Smythe. Comes into the game for number 27, oh, Brian Magatosh. The Vikings are, uh, they've still got their uh, first string defense in the game here. Uh, a lot of time left in the game. Uh, don't want those Lakewood Vikings scoring any points. I mean, second down and nine for Lakewood. Van Der Boone under center pro form. It's going to come off for a pass, take a drop back step, and the ball is going to be uh, overhand toss there, uh, thrown into the ground. It's going to be an incomplete pass ruled by the referees. Uh, pass intended for number 20, Tyler Bugner. Probably a good thing he didn't catch that because uh, he's going to be uh, smoked by a couple of hands of Viking, uh, yes. Vikings there. Uh, checking yeah. into the game, number seven, Ryan Richardson coming out. Number 74, Isaiah Mims. The Vikings going to add a little bit of speed here on the third down play. Uh, instead of trying to stuff the run here, expecting the pass. Lakewood will come out pro form once again. Two men in the backfield, wide receiver to the right and to the left. The Vikings come with a blitz here. He's going to be number 44, TJ Lindemann. Almost makes a stop. The quarterback is going to be off there. slipped on the uh, grass. Maybe a little bit of moist, Mike? Maybe a little bit of moisture, I'm thinking. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of chilly out. It's getting later. Getting late at night. Yep. Lights shine on this grass. It's a bit cold. Uh, game uh, temperature now is uh, a chilly 53 degrees. It's going down. It's it's been dropping this evening. I must say that. Especially the wind makes it a little bit of a factor. Uh, yes. Though in the student section we've got some guys painted up uh, looking like the Blue Man Group. Uh, oh yeah. We have, uh, Mr. Aaron Bennett down Aaron there. Bennett. Uh, Mr. Nick Nick Kidd. Uh, Nicholas. All, uh, yep. All uh, painted up for tonight's game. Uh, Very spirited this year, you know. Lakewood it's will punt the ball guys. away. The Vikings come with everybody to try to block that. Montgomery is going to let this one go out of bounds at about the uh, Lakewood. Uh, 30, or excuse me, 42 yard line. The Vikings will take over again with excellent field position. Looks like we're going to get the uh, second team offense coming into the game here. Uh, number 72, John R. Fyferic will John check into the game Fyferic. as the center. It's like uh, no, we've got a whole host of changes here for the Vikings. Number 79, Kurt Twitchell coming into the game. Seven, uh, uh, Ryan Richardson. Number four, Brent Hissong. Number one, Ryan Everett. Uh, number, number nine, the no, priest wants. Number nine, the priest wants, and then a running back as well. Uh, try to make sure we get every, all the uh, substitutions here. Calvin Hisson coming into the game for, as the 11th man here. Looks like number 80 in the game for the Vikings, Sam Brown as well, playing end. Five Ferrick will uh, hike the ball to Hisson. Hisson is going to keep the ball. He's going to run it around the outside, makes a couple of juke moves, and uh, he's going to be stopped maybe for a. Uh, Yard a loss there. He's going to bring it back up to the line of scrimmage, it looks like. It's going to be second down and 10. Brent Hissong is a sophomore year, was a state runner up in the uh, 103 weight pound division uh, in oh, the uh, state wrestling, finals yeah. in wrestling, yes. Very, very good wrestler. He's been wrestling. Here's the replay here. He's going to keep it himself. Probably wrestling his whole life. He has been. Uh, wrestling's one of the, definitely one of those tough sports. Oh, yeah. His song to go back under center with all three of his running backs in the backfield. His song will hand the ball off. Looks like a number nine at DePriest Watson with the carry. He's going to gain about two or three on the carry. It's going to bring up third down and about six or seven for the Vikings. Third down and six, Whoa. let's call it. Uh, coming out of the game, number uh, 62 for the Vikings, Larry McCormick. His song will bring the play into the huddle. Uh, also in the game for the Vikings, number 22, Michael Fidewa. Michael Fidewa. He's in a running back currently, I do believe. Uh, Actually, end? check that. Is Actually, that he's in an end. His numbers are all confusing me. Looks yes. like Lakewood. We're going to get uh -oh, uh, flags yes. here. Looks like uh, Hazlitt might have jumped the gun there, right, trying to pull right. Lakewood off sides. We'll see what the call is. So we're going to get the call here from uh, our referee. Offsides on Lakewood. Uh, good uh, good uh, play caller by Coach O trying to shorten the field up here for a third down. It's going to make it third down 
and about one for the Vikings. Yep. His song will bring the play again in to uh, the team here in the huddle. As I was saying before, his song, uh, State runner up his sophomore year. His junior year, he was actually injured at Torres ACL and he has the invitational. He uh, looks to uh, be state champion this year uh, for the Vikings in wrestling. He yes. goes under he's center. Here's, he's going to be fumbled. He's going to pick again. it up himself. He's going to try to run with it, and he's going to be stopped behind the line for a loss on the play here. It's going to be uh, down at the 35-yard uh, line. It's going to bring up fourth down and uh, fourth and three for the Vikings. Now let's see what they decide to do here. They're going to go for it. Vikings are going to punt the ball here away. Here oh. we're going to get a replay of the fumble here. Brent Hissong well, is going to be serving as quarterback here as well. There's a fumble on the play. This song picks up, tries to cut it outside. He's going to be tackled, it looks like, by number 84, Travis Willard. A good stop by him uh, to uh, prevent the uh, conversion here. 54, Jay Harold. Jay Harold, actually, he's 54. Uh, the element on the periodic table is Ixion uh, for that <laughs> event. Uh, Harold uh, in the game, the block. Montgomery will boot it long, and it's going to be booted into the end zone. Good punt, though, there. Uh, fortunately, bounces into the end zone, and Lakewood will take over on their own 20-yard line. Well, See, there's a good shot of uh, number eight, uh, Joe Edwards, there uh, coming off the field. Yep. That's a good shot there with our uh, brand-new uh, Canon uh, camera for uh, TV25 this year. Oh, yeah. Very nice equipment. They got a bunch of new equipment in the studio this year, didn't they? Yes, we did. We uh, we got a new Mac. We uh, received a, uh, a couple of, well, we got a new uh, toaster, new remote unit, and a new graphics machine for the football games here. Uh, give me a run here by number two, uh, Vander Boone. I believe uh, the Dutchman Vander Boone there uh, with the run. Uh, looks like an option play that went, uh, fortunately, uh, picked up about a uh, ball length, if that, and it'll bring up second down and 10 from their own 20-yard line. Number 64, let's see here. So the uh, new center in the game for Lake Odessa Lakewood is number 76, James Hillard. Big kid there. Yes. Vander Boone under center. He's going to hand the ball off to, uh, looks like, number 26, Adam Werbel. Werbel will take the ball for four yards, and it'll bring up third and five for Lake Odessa. One minute remains in the third quarter. The score, Hazlitt 35, Lake Odessa Lakewood 0. 76 again, and James Hiller will bring his team up to the line here. Quarterbanking. Uh, in the game, uh, linebacker, quarterback, safety for them, uh, Vander Boone. He's going to hand it off to, uh, it's like number six. Actually, check that number eight. Number eight Josh Mitchell. He's going to run the for the first down. down. Yep. That's going to be Lakewood's first down in quite some time. Good uh, six yard gain there. Brought down by number 54, Jay Harold. Jay Harold. Tough guy. Tough kid. Big guy. Um, if I was if I was Lakewood, I wouldn't be wanting to get into uh, getting into any scrapping with Jay Harold. That's for sure. That is for sure. Vander Boone will go under center. There's the snap. He's going to hand it off to number it's like 20. Tyler Belgen. He's going to pick up a nice gain here. Uh, the Lakewood uh, chopping at this. Uh, Vikings second string defense. Uh, that's going to be the end of the first quarter, or end of the third quarter. Vikings lead 35 to zero. Well, Mike, 12 minutes remain in the game. Down by 35. Randall, Randall Hager. What are what are we what are we telling our guys now? Uh, I think you're telling your guys you you're, the game, but I think you're also. Maybe thinking about telling you guys it's going to be a long week of practice ahead, too. You got some things to work on. <laughs> well, uh, uh, this. That's okay, though. You know what? It's the first time these these uh, two teams have matched up. And, um, Both the Vikings, though. You got to give it to Lakewood. They're, they're, they're doing their best to hang in there. And, um, Both teams are uh, hanging in. Lake, Lake Odessa, Lakewood, Sunfield, Lakeview, Lakewood. Whatever you may call them. Uh, 
Sunfield? Is that Sun, what you said? Sunfield. No. Where, I don't uh, know where you get the Sunfield and Lakewood at, but... I just can't put it, it all I, I together. I would it would be like Sun, Sunwood or something. Yeah. But there's no... But then where do you get the wood from? <laughs> we don't understand. Don't Anyways, the uh, Lake Odessa Lakewood uh, will uh, have the ball to start the fourth quarter here. Bring the ball to the line here. Vanderboon quarterbacking still. This kid's got to be really tired now playing offense and defense and offense and defense and more offense and defense. Yep. Here we're going to go pro form. Both wide receivers to the right. They're going to hand the ball off up the middle. No gain for, uh, looks like, number 20, Tyler Belgren. He's been running the ball uh, for uh, Lakewood all night. Belgren? Belgren is. He's the back, right? He's the back. Correct. Yeah. Six foot, 180. He's an 11th grader. Huh? Lakewood's got a got a, a lot of uh, under, uh, not underclassmen. They've got a lot of juniors playing for him uh, right now. Uh, possibly uh, could show good signs for the future for the uh, Lakewood uh, Vikings. Always, yep. There's going to be an uh, option play here. It's going to uh -oh, be fumbled. fumbled. Number eight's gonna pick it up and he's gonna get hit hard. Oh. We're gonna, he's gonna be the he's gonna, fumbles the ball. He's gonna be called down. Correct call there by the referee. His back was on the ground. The ball popped out. I must say the the ball's been bobbling around this evening. It has been. I, I think uh, it, I think it's the cold weather. It's gotta be the weather. It's gotta be the weather. It's gotta be the weather. We're looking at uh, 52 degrees currently right now. Man, you know it's that's getting, just it's getting quite chilly. The quite, temperature quite chain chilly. The, yesterday it was pretty warm out, and today I just think it's putting a lot of fatigue on the players here. Well, the Vikings, or well, excuse me, well, the Vikings of Lakewood will uh, be punting on 4th and 16 from the middle 24-yard line. Uh, James Trebilcock here will uh, take the uh, return here. Or he's back, back deep. Here's the ball. It's gonna, he's going to let it take a bounce. He's going to pick it up, and he's going to run with it. Cross the, he's going to be met at the 50, and he's going to be stopped. At the 50, looks like he's going to be down at about the Hazlitt Viking 49 and a half yard line here. Excuse me, the uh, 48 yard line. It's like uh, the Viking is number, uh, there's number 22, Michael Fidoa, number 9, DePriest Watson, number 79, Kurt Twitchell, number 80, Sam Brown playing end tonight for the Vikings, number 72, John R. Fyferic, and number 4, James Trebilcock checking into the game. Looks like he's going to be quarterbacking the team on uh, this series here. Trebilcock yeah. with all three of his backs in the backfield. Vikings get set. Here's the snap. It's going to be a uh, handoff. Yeah, number one, Ryan Everett there. Ryan, Ryan Everett's going to take the ball back out to about the 50. It's going to be a gain of two for Ryan Everett. Excuse me, to the, about the 49-yard uh, line. Gain of, gain of, yeah, 50, 49, somewhere in there. Gain of about two for number one, Ryan Everett. Checking out of the game is going to be number 59 for the, actually, yeah, number 59 for the Vikings, uh, Chris Sherman. Sherman, or, yep, looks like it. Trebilcock under center. Here's the handoff to, uh, looks like number 20 for the Vikings, Jeffrey Patterson. Jeff Patterson, Jeffrey Patterson, yeah. Patterson brought down by number seven. Fred, he's the uh, Mr. Endurance for the uh, Viking football team. Uh, Is he really? Uh, he, he runs a uh, he runs good distance. This year he's actually looking forward to uh, running his first year of track. Um, he looks to be uh, successful in the 800 down, meter uh, race, the wow. one mile and the two mile this year well, for Jeff uh, Patterson. That's definitely going to take some, some hard work and conditioning. Well, Jeff's in pretty good shape as it is yes, now. Is. This is the handoff to number nine to Priest Watson. He's going to be uh, dragged down. Oh, good, uh, good job hiding the ball there by number nine to Priest Watson. Another good run by him. He's going to be dragged down about the Lakewood Viking 23-yard line. That's going to be first down for the Vikings. Yes. As I said earlier, I believe uh, the Priest Watson. I think he's he's a pretty strong running back. You know, um, he's got a lot of speed. A lot of speed yeah. for the Priest. Yep. Trebilcock will bring his team up to the line here. All three running backs in the backfield. Everett Watson and uh, number 20, Jeffrey Patterson. Here's the handoff. It looks like it's going to be kept by Trebilcock. He hops over a couple wow. guys. He misses a couple. And Very nice He's going to run it in for the score. He's got a couple uh, flags on the play. It looks like we might get a great run there. Like they might bring it's, it back. It's like, it looks like uh, it's going to come back here. Uh, it's going to be a... It's going to be a holding call on the Vikings, unfortunately. That's going to be a 10-yard penalty. 
Archer Bilcock with a great run there. Very impressive run. Very right impressive there. run. Hopped over a couple guys there. Ran Made it some in. nice, nice cuts. And, uh, there's, a, there's a shot of number 14, James Bilcock right there, talking to uh, Coach Charles Otluski there. Here's a replay of uh, the uh, run here by Trebilcock. Wow, that was a really, really impressive run right there. It was. Fakes the, oh, actually, yeah, here he is, running that ball around that corner there. Gets a good block there, hops wow. over a guy, stays on his feet. Hurdles uh, and cuts and a cuts couple Lakewood right guys wow, look at that. run oh, into each nice. other, cuts it back, and we're going for the score. Unfortunately, though, there was a flag on the play. And Calvin Hissong, and Calvin Hissong is going to be five. Wow, this is the fourth Vikings quarterback here. Calvin Hissong is going to give the ball to, uh, looks like number nine, and the priest wants, and he had a whole ton of room. We're going to get a false start here on the Vikings. Unfortunately, this is going to be two penalties in a row for him. Not what you want. But unfortunately, that's what they got, and it's going to bring up a first down at about 22 yards for the Vikings. Oh, you can catch this game tonight at 11.30 p.m. on Hazlitt's TV 25. Also, will be running uh, three times daily over the weekend, I do believe. Yep. You can catch it, I believe, the late time on that's going to be 7 p.m. Uh, instead of watching a little couch football or NFL, check over on the uh, Check the channel. Vikes out. Oh, yeah, here's the Hazlitt Vikes. His song's uh, handoff's going to be to uh, number nine, DePriest Watts in there. Oh, well, there's the fans. Look at that. That's the fanfare right there for the Hazlitt Vikings. Yep. Everybody in the community comes out for these games. Gets all fired up for your team. Yep. You know, it's, it's really something that stands out when you come to a Hazlitt game or, uh, you know, even when Hazlitt's away. The fan support is there. The student section. You know, uh, lo looking over at Lakewood actually right now, I, I don't believe they have a student section, yeah. to be honest with you. Here's his song's handoff is going to be to, uh, looks like number seven, uh, that's going to be uh, Ryan Richardson. He's going to, not going to pick up anything on the carry though. So maybe about a yard there actually. He's back to Lakewood. Uh, don't really, uh, don't really see much student support. It is a long drive, uh, Lakewood which is the high school, which is in, I do believe, Lake Odessa. Maybe in Sunview. Could be in Sunfield. It's actually Sun, Field. Sunfield. Is it? Or it could be in Lakeview, for all we know. Um, it's about 15, 20 miles west Lake of... Lake Odessa? Is there, is there a lake, though? Oh, here we go. Uh, number <laughs> nine, DePriest Watson. Right DePriest here. Watson's going to rumble there. He's going to bring that ball down to about uh, the 20-yard line. It's so like uh, that's going to bring up uh, fourth down for the Vikings. Let's see. They're probably going to kick a field goal here. Uh, give uh, Mr. Why not? Mark, you know? Mark Messina some practice here. This is gonna that it will be. It will be. 35-yard field goal. Messina will 40. kick it off. Will kick. It's going to be a, uh, well, he's, he's going to be uh, kicking up from about the 26-yard line. Add 10 onto that. It's going to be about a 30-yard uh, boot here for Messina. Let's see what he can do here. Looks like Lakewood's going to bring everybody to try to block this one. Messina to kick. The kick is up. It's going to be blocked by it. Lakewood. Yep, they sent everyone. They sent everybody and they got their hands. Good in effort front by of Lakewood. There. Good effort there. Uh, good uh, blocked field goal. Here's uh, going to be the uh, replay of the uh, last run here by uh, DePriest Watson. Good tackle there uh, by uh, the Lakewood defender. Number, Number 12, 12 Nathan Hummel. First time we've seen uh, him with any action here. Uh, Van Vanderboon, Jeff Vanderboon is going to be still quarterbacking here for the Lake Odessa, Lakewood, Sunfield Vikings. <laughs> Sunfield. See the Vikings have got all their men in the box here. It's going to be a uh, passing play here. He's going to complete his first pass of the night to number 84 for the first down. And that's nice pass. Travis Willard, the tight end. Good play there, call uh, by Randall Hager, the uh, head coach of the uh, Lake Odessa Vikings. You know, you know, even though both teams are called the Vikings, uh, Lakewood's got a couple other names we can call them by: uh, Lakewood, Sunfield, Lakeview, Lake Odessa. You the Lake. Much, you could probably just call them the Lake. The Lake. Or the yeah. Wood, probably. <laughs> sure. Just call them the Wood. Anyways, back to the game. Uh, Vanderboon is going to hand the ball off to, looks like, number uh, 20 there, uh, Tyler Belgren. He's going to rumble for uh, about five on the play there. 
It's going to bring up second down and about five yards to go. The priest Watson checking in the game here. Oh, what, what's going on? With a 350 remaining in the fourth quarter. The running clock here is really John Fife Fair stepping in the game, hustling over there. Number uh, 19 for the Vikings uh, coming running out of there. That would uh, be an Andy Van Kuyken. Do you want to believe that was Andy Van Kuyken? Let's see. Here's a pass here. He's going to oh. get himself into trouble. He's going to run with it instead. He's going to be uh, spins through a couple tackles. He's going to run himself for a first down the first there. down, yeah. He's going to be uh, tackled there. Looks like by number 72, John R. Fyfair Jr. John R. Fyfair Jr. His, his older brother was actually a uh, first team all league uh, senior year, I believe in 2001, or 2002 actually. It was uh, first team all league when the Vikings won uh, the ICL championship. I believe uh, that might, I think that's uh, John R. Fyfair Jr.'s uh, favorite football player. Is that what he said? I, I do believe so. Yep. Chase was a good player. He was a good player. Here's the handoff to number eight. He's going to be tackled by number eight for the Vikings, Joey Edwards. Josh Mitchell with a stop. Uh, I'd like to John Fiferic, uh before the game, he likes to listen to Kenny Loggins' Pooh Corner uh, to get warmed up before the game. The Eastside boys, Bia Bia, and he enjoys his Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park, that's definitely uh, something to get you pumped up. Never heard Kenny Loggins before, I don't think. Is no. Kenny Loggins good? Have you ever well, heard? Well, it's, it's, it's Pooh Corner, so uh, take what you will from that, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number 64, late substitution in for the Vikings. That will be Josh Lee. Here's the pass for Lakewood. He's going to take it and run it. He's got the first down. He's got a couple more yards. He's going to be uh, pulled down, maybe, but it looks like number 19 for the Vikings, Andy Van Kuyken, is going to make it the final stop there. A little QB sneak. A little, uh, oh, QB uh, option pass run there. Uh, yep. For the Vikings. Checking into the game, number 12 for the Vikings, Dan Vay. Well, I've seen a lot, a lot of Vikings here tonight. <laughs> Every down, somebody oh, new yeah. coming into the game. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, that's always what, that's, good. That's what you like to see. Everybody getting op see. opportunities yep. to play here. It looks like um, we're going to get a pro form here from Lakewood, Lakeview, Sunfield, and Lake Odessa. <laughs> it's going to be another passing play. He's going to throw it. This ball is going to almost that's... be intercepted by number one, Ryan Everett. The quarterback, just like he kind of threw that one out there for grabs. Um, well, there's uh, 129 remaining in the game, actually. Um, the Vikings uh, putting it to Lakewood here currently. Uh, lead the game 35-0. to zero. The clock continues to tick away with the uh, rolling clock as we have here once the team reaches the plateau of 35 points. Uh, that was Ryan Everett there. Uh, he hopes to attend uh, Michigan State College and uh, study engineering there, actually. <laughs> the Michigan State College, did I hear you say? I mean, that's, oh, well, it could be Michigan State it College. It could be. It could be. It's like Lake Odessa is going to rumble in for the score here. That's going to be number... Uh, 20. Tyler Valgren is going to get the touchdown for the Lake Odessa Vikings uh, with 56 seconds remaining on the clock. Lake Odessa has uh, six points now, Mike. That's good. Uh, you know, I would have to say um, it, it's good for... We're going to get a replay here, actually. Oh, here's, the, uh, replay. here's the handoff. Uh, the Vikings uh, penetrate in the backfield. Unfortunately, it's to the wrong side of the field. Lake Odessa, he picks up a couple good blocks there, uh, and he's going to scamper in for the score. Well, Lake Odessa scoring on our second string defense. Yeah. That's leaving, okay. leaving their uh, first stringers in the game. Uh, here's going to be the kick. The hold by number eight. The kick is up by number 14, and he's going to push it. Actually, excuse me, pushes it to the right, but still gets it to go through the uprights. Lake Looks Odessa like on the board with seven points. Your Hazled Vikings have 35. There is 56 minutes, or 56 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Now, what do you, you think is going to happen here with the Vikings? What do you think? You either, uh, probably just run the, the clock. They're going to, I assume, probably go into the victory formation, uh, take a couple knees, and that'll be the end of the game. For the Vikings, I uh, think, uh, conclusion of tonight's game, we will name our Viking Old Spice l and player of the game. Old Spice, huh? Who are you looking at tonight, Mike, uh, for the Vikings? Who, who Who's in your uh, top three players of the game? You know what? It, I'm going to have to say it's between your quarterback, Matt Peterson, and possibly number 17, Ben Conroy. I think they both, uh, you know, I was impressed tonight with Matt Peterson. He had some some nice passes and, uh, you know. You know, I'm, I think I'm going to throw game. Jordan Montgomery's game into the Jordan mix. Jordan Montgomery. Yeah, Monty, yeah. You he, know. Had some, he had some good returns, good good run. There's uh, many, many Brian people. Brian McIntosh as well. It's really hard to pick a player of the game. We'll, uh, we'll be doing that, though, at the end of the game here. Uh, 
Chevy Wola. Chevy. Here we go, the kickoff. Here's the kick. It's going to be uh, pushed in the air. It's going to be number 14, Amsterdam right Bilcox, going to take that. He's going he's gonna to take it. He's going to be tripped up, looks like, by number uh, 63, or 65, excuse me, uh, G or Adam Fayan. I don't think I've ever seen that one. F Y A N. Anyways, you know, the Vikings come out here. Uh, we're going to have uh, a host of uh, guys here. John R. Fiferic is going to be centering the team here. To a, yep. uh, Vic, there's 51.6 seconds remaining in the game. Has a 35. Lake Odessa Lakewood, 7. Uh, Mike and I would like to thank uh, all the TV25 staff tonight, everybody, all uh, the cameramen down on the field, oh, everybody yeah. running the graphics and uh, doing the switcher back in the truck, Trisha Bobita, Brian Town, uh, Kathy Ryan Nearson. There's a big thanks, everybody. Uh, Jeremy Jer Scripter. Jeremy Scripter down there Jeremy running the Scripter. cannon, the camera down on the field tonight. Great job by everybody tonight. So it looks like the Vikings are going to have one more play here. We have uh, one more play here, it looks like, for the Vikings. Uh, with uh, 30 seconds remaining here in the game, it's going to be second down and three yards for the Vikings. Here's uh, Calvin Hissong. will hand the ball off up the middle to, uh, looks like, number nine to Priest Watts, and he's going to have enough for the first down, but that's going to do it for the game here as the rest of the time winds down. Well, Mike, it's time to talk wow. about our uh, L&L Old Spice player of the game. And you know what? You can't, you can't forget Subway. Subway, you know? Come on, man. Sub, su Subway in with a little sponsorship there as well. A JP Express. Yeah. Down in, down in, down in Hazlitt, Michigan, the Pine Garden. Anyways, though, well, okay. So, Mike, who, who's your, uh, who's your, we'll, we'll select two for tonight's game, actually. Yeah. One offensive player, one defensive player. So, Mike, who, who are you taking here on offense? Oh, man. It's, it's, you know what? Uh, How about I'll, I'll pick the offensive you player. You pick it, Greg. I, you know, I'm going to give the offensive player of the game to Brian McIntosh tonight. He had some good runs, some big runs in the game to open it up early. Uh, Mike, would you like to pick our defensive player of the game? Defensive player, I'm giving it to David Benjamin. David, David Benjamin, Benjamin Conroy. Conroy. You know, he got in there and Made he was sacks. sneaky. He was sneaky tonight. He was a sneaky That's, that's going to be the quote of Mike tonight. He, Benjamin Conroy tonight was sneaky. Anyways, those are our two players of the game. Uh, Old Spice and everybody will donate $1,000 to each university tonight in tonight's game. <laughs> so uh, that puts the final score. Hazlitt 35, Lake Odessa, Lakewood, Sunfield, and Lakeview 7. I'm Greg Kerner for Michael Gallagher. This has been a production of TV25 Sports. The Vikings win 35-7. to 7.